I started no-till on one particular piece three years ago because it was my toughest piece to, to try it on. The other land I felt would be easier. And then the next spring, most of my stuff I did tillage, but I could just see the advantage, the things that were happening to the, the first quarter. The soil was improving without me doing anything as far as uh, using fossil fuels or, or tractors. And from there we went from three quarters to last spring now we only tilled two quarters on the whole farm. And this fall we would intend to have no tillage at all. The land that we try to do is a Fargo Ryan soil type, which is 65% clay. So it's very, very tough to deal with, hard to work with, holds moisture but cracks wide open. I'm not 100% no till. I'm calling myself necessary till. There are spots where I think it it's still has its merits. We'll start with the corn, the next crop for us will be the soybeans. Same thing in a no-till operation. The um, rye and the winter wheat was seeded the fall before. Those pretty much will just get a pesticide application. Fertilizer was done in the fall. And the hay crops, just as uh, Mother Nature le lets us, we have to make hay when the sun shining. I started with the cover crops probably before the no-till just by a means of leaving what was out there for volunteer. And then the next spring we would uh, do a no-till or, or a minimum till pass and just try to stay away from the tractor hours as much as possible. A year ago we left the rye on purpose to see how long we could go. We waited till the 10th of June and we have uh, videos where the rye is this high if you leave that rye attached to the ground, do the no-till, you can seed right through it. But if you do some tillage pass, you'll have all these root balls that you need to do another tillage pass to get rid of the small root balls. And then you need another tillage pass to get them to the little root balls so you can handle them. My benefits that I've seen so far is I feel my soil is loosening up. The largest one has been to the checkbook where I'm not spending as much you know, the equipment, the depreciation sheet. I won't need about a third of my inventory equipment that I have when I make the full commitment. The equipment that we used for converting was I had already had. The no-till means no-till, so you really shouldn't need anything, but our seeding equipment we already had was kind of a dual purpose. I really made no purchases separately for this process. You know, my yields in the last two years have been exceptional, above my normal yields. Some of that, we've had good, good seasons here. I think it's all the trickle-down effect that um, there are things starting to happen there that I don't see and don't understand, and uh, we will just continue and see where they go. Yeah, if you're considering no-till, I mean, it's real easy, just quit. In no time you will see that uh, there's an advantage there.